What's good, motherfuckers? Matt's King JC here, and the new Naruto chapter's out, chapter 515. It's manga time! Meh. Okay, we got Naruto chapter 515. This one's got a color spread to it. And, um. We see uh, the giant turtle is being lifted by the uh, Susukage. So, just imagine how much strength this guy has. He's carrying this entire, this entire fucking turtle, isle, turtle island on with just his hand. He's just doing this. So I'm just surprised how strong this guy is, or maybe he's just making it look very, or maybe he's just making it light and he just make it look like he's carrying. But who knows? All I know is that it's really hurting his fucking back. <laughs> and we got a pretty awesome color spread. Uh, we let's see on the color spread we got Neji, Lee, Choji, Sai, Shino, Hinata, Ino, Tenten, Sakura, Naruto. Neji and what the hell? This thing's taking forever to load. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Come on, load. 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 Okay, and Shikamaru, Kiba, and Akamaru. We got Naruto in his uh, nine tails, you know, control form where he's like all bright orange. Yellowish. He got like six Rasengans over him. Looks pretty cool. We got we got Madara in the Madara in the background with his mask and his Sharingan gun, his running gun. So yeah, for the first time ever since they were born, it's finally gonna happen. It's time for war. War. Who? Good God, ja. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again now. War. Who? Good God. It's okay, never mind. Okay, and uh, Naruto just realized that the sky and ground flipped again because he doesn't know what's up. He's like, what the heck is up with this island? And um, Yamoto just went outside to check. And uh, one of the guys told him that Yamoto went outside to check something, but he hasn't come back yet. And he's like, he might be trapped underneath a bunch of debris. And they're like trying to keep him, Naruto, you know, they're trying to keep Naruto in the dark about this stuff. And uh, Naruto's like, I've done my mission here, so now I need to go. So I know I need to go back to the Leaf Village and wait for Sasuke. And uh, and um, see Naruto here saying Naruto uh, saying uh, I made a promise to him, and we see Sasuke. So he still has the bandages on his his eyes. You know, it's not ready yet to take off the bandages and reveal his new eyes. So. I really could care less what happened to Sasuke in this fucking war. I pretty much, I pretty much expect that he's going to die. So I could care less about Sasuke. Anyway, um, some unimportant character whose name I forget, uh, gets these worms on the ground. She's, and uh, they found out the chakra, the white snake that slithered in, in here belonged to Kabuto, and their base must be there or something. No way, that's a guy. That's one of the. That's one of the Wegas. Uh, what's the name? Tokuma? Tokuma, yeah. And the chick says that there's like nearby, that they, that they investigate nearby bugs and they notice that there's a lot of shit going on, but whatever. Next page. Try to get through this real fast. The guy notices that there's so many of them, and he's like, what is it? And we go back to the island and. Uh, Naruto's, Naruto's like, how come the animals get to go back outside and I get to stay cooped up here? Kirby's like, shut the fuck up, bitch. I need to train you first because you haven't got enough control, he says in his rhyme. And he pulls out his octopus arms and he cuts up and he cuts a whole bunch of different geometric shapes with the, with these, uh, with the ground he just smashed up. He grabs it with his octopus arms and he says, use the chocolate to grab on tight. Stack up the blocks and use what you got. To get the balance just right. And Arthur's like, Whoa! He stacked all that shit up there. He's, that looks awesome. 
And uh, Naruto's like, okay, all I gotta do is use the Nine Tails chakra and it's gonna be good. And Naruto uh, goes to his, his uh, Nine Tails control form, I don't know what it's properly called. And and uh, he, and Naruto's like, I'll just try to stack them up so they won't collapse. He pulls out the, chak the chakra arm and it, instead of grabbing it, it's totally, it totally destroys the entire fucking block. And Kilby's like, don't get violent. You're in control when it comes to bite, but when the touch needs to be light, you don't know how to roll. And I was like, let me try again, and he tries again, but he this time he's being more soft, slower, he's being more gentler. Gentle touch. The gentle touch. And, um... Uh, at the same moment Art was doing that, the Susie uh, Kage drops the Octopus Island at, uh... At the ninja summit or whatever Hokage Hokage summit, and the uh, blocks and the blocks fall over, and I was like, "Oh come on, one more try." And uh, let's see. And uh, Tuzukage's like, "Oh my back!" And I was just like, "That's what you get for overexerting yourself, asshole." And uh, he says, "The nine tail, the eight nine tails are safe, but the wood element user in charge of watching nine tails was captured, Yamato." And, um, what's it, Mizukage, Mizukage, I've totally forgot her name, but I was going to call it Mizukage. Mizukage just, uh, talks about how the enemy has valuable, has valuable information now that they, now that they got, uh, Yamato now, so, they pretty much, they pretty much have to jump on him now, because they got information out of him. And, uh, we cut back to Madara's Lair, which I don't care what it's called, but, I was like, I prefer Madara, not Madara, uh, Kabuto. Kabuto's like, he doesn't want to kill Yamato, but he wants to get information from him so he can make the Z2 seem stronger, and Madara's like, I can use the Renegon's human path ability to learn anything he knows in an instant, but it would kill him. So you're saying leave him alive so you would help strengthen his Zetsus. And yes, and one of the snakes is biting into Yamato's hand, it's injected with poison. Yeah, it keeps him keeps Yamoto from using his wood element powers. Uh, it's a special drug that Kabuto invented to nullify Hari Shama's power. And uh Madara's like, damn you, Roshimaru, how much do you know about what I was doing? And Yamoto's like, Ugh, I can't even escape. I don't, I can't even do anything to prepare myself like this. I'm going to damn it. I'm sorry everyone. I'm sorry. God Anyway. <laughs> And Carbdo's like, there's no need for the Renegon. He just uses, he's just gonna his uh, truth serum and uh, and uh, Madara Sharingan should be enough. And once they know what their enemy and once they know about their enemy, so be strong enough to hit them where it hurts the most. And uh, uh, one of the Leafs birds come in, and it's got new intel. And it's basically it's basically uh, a map show that the that the uh, enemies hide out. Where the enemy's hideout is, and it's a location called the Mountain's Grave. And if they're march, and if they march by land, they're gonna go right through the hidden mist and hidden hot spring villages. So this is an evacuation alert to both villages immediately. Yada, 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 yada. And uh, back at the Kage Summit, there's a bunch of fucking. Information and shit like according to the advanced recon squad, the enemy's forces number at 100,000. See, we already know that. Considering that, it's likely that only a small fraction will come by sea, but we're in grave danger if they manage to surround us. And it's like that means the victor will be determined by who strikes first. <laughs> and it was calling out orders like the right guard is like, Form an ambush squadron, just split the rest of the forces into multiple divisions, and give them the and give them information. And like, yes, sir. Uh, there's a lot of information here, not really important. Everybody care less about their military tactics or whatever. <laughs> and uh, they got these new headbands now. Uh, I'm sorry, forehead protectors. And they have Shinobi, had the Shinobi uh, Japanese kanji, whatever it's, whatever it's called, written on it. Because they used to be divided, but now they're all together as one. We, we are united as one to defeat a common enemy. So everyone's wearing this headband now. They are no longer sand ninjas. They are no longer leaf ninjas. They are no longer. They are no longer water ninjas. They are no longer 
when they're just, they're no, longer, they're no longer whatever, they are now Shinobi. So yeah, we got Kakuro, he's the ambush co uh, company captain, and he's teamed up with Sai and some other guy's name I don't remember, or no care to remember. <laughs> it's one of the black dudes, one of the black Latin dudes. Damn nigger. Now anyway. <laughs> And uh, Suzuni is the medical logistics company captain, and she's like, she's like, I look forward to serving all of you. And speaking of serving, Tone Tone here is not food. Uh, I wouldn't want to eat that pig. Looks pretty cute. You didn't hear that. Anyway, we have Yamanaka Inochi, Ino's father, who's the sensor company captain, and some guy named Tenga. I think we saw him last chapter. He's Tenga. He's like, you're Inuichi son. I'm Tenga. Man, I've heard so much about you. I was just a fanboy. Can I get your autograph? He's like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, let's see. We got this, the same kid from, uh, I think he's from the right, right village. I don't care about him. He's like, this is my first war. And, uh, sensor captain, co company captain AO is like, well, stay on task at all times. How well we do our job will have a huge impact on the outcome. And uh, and we see uh, all the commanders, commander generals, and commander generals for the war. We and like a huge ass army. They're like flipping to, they're like split into like five blocks here. It's like a huge ass army. So it must be at least a close. To, I'm not gonna say a million, but at least half a million people right there. No, maybe like. Maybe like uh, three fourths of a million people. Anyway, Garus, the uh, Joint Shinobi Army Commander General, of course. And uh, Choji and Tenten are the member are part of the Division One Mid Range Fire Division, and the Division One General is Daru, another black nigger. <laughs> oh, anyway, uh, Division Two is the Close Range Fighting Division. Uh, it contains uh, Hinata, some other black chick, Neji, and her name escapes me, but she looks like she's of the Hueka clan. Oh well, not important. Anyway, her father, I guess, is the Division Two General T Kitsushi. I don't care, man. I don't Anyway, uh, Division Three, close range, close slash mid range fighting division. Guy is still, un guy is still un unconscious, and Lee's like, "Guy Sensei, are you alright?" And uh, Sakura's like, "You're right about to march off to war. What happened to him? We we're right, we're we're right about to march off to war. What happened to him?" And Kakashi is a Division Three general, which is nice. I knew Kakashi was gonna be a general. And guys still knocked out. And on the next page, which is loading very slowly. Come on, load faster, you fuck. <laughs> and we have Choji. Choji, uh, Shi Sh Choji, Shikamaru, and Tamari, who are members of the 4th Division Long Range Fine Division. And, uh, yeah, Choji's like, gotta eat while I've got the chance. And I run out of time, so I'm gonna. Let's get through this. Gara is, the, Gara is also the Division 4 general. And we got Kiba. I think he has his sister. Yeah, his sister whose name, whose name escapes me. And Shino and Ino in the Dis Division 5 Special Ops Division. And Division 5 General is Mifune. And we see Kabuto in the lair. He unleashes, uh, he reveals from the coffin deceased enemies from our past. The former members of Akatsuki, Itachi, Sasori, Dedara, I don't know what the fuck that is, and that looks like Nagato, looks like Nagato, anyway, <laughs> the next former, and and the former Jinchiriki, so we got the Jinchiriki right here, and we got the Kages, and we also got a whole bunch of other enemies, including Haku, and Zabuza, So, and Kimimaru. So, yeah, that's the end of the chapter. I ran out of time. Again.